is Leanne Nutrition. I am with Hope Warsha. She's a registered dietitian and diabetes educator and author of uh, several books. Um, we we're talking about pre-diabetes and uh, in a previous video talked about the statistics of it and how prevalent it is. So somebody has pre-diabetes. What can they do? So my message is take action as soon as you possibly can. Okay. Because what this is a progressive disease right. and I know that sounds so negative but I try to turn that around when I'm counseling people and talk about that being a positive because now you know and you can start to take action and what we know from all the research all of these diabetes prevention studies is that taking action as soon as you possibly can is what your greatest help is to prevent right. progression um, that's what we know. And we're not talking about going on a diet. We're not talking about no, going on which a is, diet. I think often, you know, that's the first thing people think of. It is, and it's and also it's, not about eating low carb. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't eat carbohydrates because, right, people right. have that. Yes. So it is about healthy eating. Yes. It's about what I say to people is look at what you're currently eating. And even more importantly, what you're drinking. Oh, gosh. Yes. Because that is such a great I place know. to start. Right. I mean, if people are downing a couple of regular sodas yes. a day, mm -hmm. that's 300 calories right there. Exactly. Drink water, drink iced tea, um, something with drink diet soda. Right. Um, and you've already made a significant change. Yes that can really help. So we're not talking about big, difficult right. to do changes. Look at, you're doing a lot of restaurant eating, look at what you're ordering. Can you split an order of fries with your family if right. you're going out to dinner? Um, can you brown bag lunch a couple oh, of yes. days <clears throat> a week? Uh, portions, oh my goodness, there's <laughs> so much work to do. Yes around portion control, Definitely. cook less, put leftovers away before you dig in. Don't put serving bowls on the table right. so they're... Unless it's salad or, <laughs> or, or, right. or no, non-starchy vegetables. Think about the, the sort of plate method and fill yes. your plate, you know, half with the vegetables right. and a quarter with your starch and a quarter with your meat if that's right. how you eat. I mean... It is take in what's being said about healthy eating. Yes. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Eat more fiber-filled whole grains. Go lighter on the, the meat. Make yes. sure your meat is, is lean mm -hmm. sources. Go meatless. Go meatless um, on Mondays. <laughs> meatless on Mondays. Um, and then there's the exercise piece. Yes. There is the go walk. <laughs> That think about your day know, and like how you can you fit in more yes. steps. Yeah, just to move. I tell people just move. Right, know? right. And um, because that's, you know, just starting that, you know, hopefully they'll feel better. And, right. And realize now, it's not unsurmountable. We are, we, I know that you and I both know it's not as easy as said and done. Because we live in a culture that is 24-7, 365 food and it's. Hard, hard to do this. It is, yeah. But taking action, going back one thing about the the, the uh, liquid sugar, I call it. People often substitute. Well, think that juice is a better option. Mm -hmm. And even though it's a better option, it's still 100% sugar, and is one of those things that really should be limited or eliminated as well because um, juice just doesn't have liquid calories. Just don't have the the satisfying, the satiating factors. Right. That I think we both does. rather people chew. Chew, absolutely. Yeah, get that sensation of chewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And it takes more time. It does. Yeah, mm -hmm. more fiber as well. So mm -hmm. great. So um, cutting back on the sugary drinks, um, eating a healthy um, diet, consulting with a registered dietitian, or just getting some tips off of diabetes.org. I'm sure there's going to be. Right. And I will, I, you know, I just want to make sure that people know that an element of the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, is, has a start of something called the National Diabetes Prevention Program. Oh, wow. Being managed under the CDC, 
people can search on National Diabetes Prevention Plan and find some excellent resources. Okay. There may be programs in their neck of the woods. Okay. There's all kinds of things happening because our government knows we have got to get a handle on this. Definitely. Yeah, great. Good information. So thanks so much, Hope.